In case you missed it, Studio One version 7 added the ability to do AI-powered stem separation, meaning we can take a song that has, you know, drums, bass, guitars, vocals. Me with my own obsession. We can use the stem separation in Studio One to split it out to its individual components. So now we could have we could have just the drums, bass, and other instruments without the vocals. We could get rid of the bass. We could just have the drums. But I think for me, I with new technology, I'm not one of those people who sees a new technology and says, ah, I know how I will creatively use it. I typically need a little bit of a nudge to know why it's cool because the, the technology, the ability to pull things out and separate, that's interesting, right? That's what they used for that last Beatles song where the they had originally tried to record this song back in like 2001, but the demo that John recorded had too much piano in the vocal. They couldn't hear either very well. When they try to push the vocal up, they push the piano up as well. Whatever... AI technology that they use could pull the vocal out and keep the piano away. Very cool, right? So then like, and they had tracks that they had recorded with George from like 2001 that they kept. So then Ringo and Paul could play along with George and John and do a final, it gives me goosebumps, do like a final Beatles record. Anyway, um, this is with no comment on the dancing John in the music video, which weirded me out. But the th that idea, I realized, oh, that's really interesting. And then I talked to somebody who was telling me the way that they use AI for creativity, and it, it may it's going to seem probably super obvious to at least half the people watching. But for me, I'm a little slow. I didn't, I couldn't get there on my own, so it was nice to have somebody tell me. I thought I'd share it with you in case you're kind of a knuckle dragger like me. So, stem separation means you can bring in a song and split it out into four components: vocals, drums, bass, and then the other stuff. Other stuff being keyboards, drums, like the rhythm instruments, if that makes sense. What's cool about this is you could pull in uh, a wave file of your favorite band, and then you could mute the things that you play and then play along with them. So I do this thing where I give challenges to my members over at Home Studio Corner uh, occasionally to do a cover song challenge. Or sometimes we'll do a challenge where we'll say, I want you to do like a carbon copy of one of your favorite songs, meaning you try to record it and make it sound as much like the original as possible. It's a great exercise. It's crazy frustrating to do, but it's interesting. So you could let this AI-powered stem separation give you a great head start on doing something like that or just as a creative tool just to have something fun to play along to so imagine for example that i'm one of your favorite artists i i'm not but i'm just doing it because i can use this music without any copyright issues so you bring my song in you do the stem separation feature which by the way if you haven't seen it you just right click and go to audio and then go to separate stems and that will do this it will mute the original audio it mutes this event and then gives you all the stems in a folder which is kind of handy so you could let's say you are you want to replace everything but the drums you want to keep my drums my buddy tim horsley played on it you're like i like the drums i just want to play everything else well guess what now you can mute everything else and you've got you can record the song again. You could make a whole new song with those drums and then figure out what you want to do with drums later. So the idea here isn't that I'm going to make a new song and then rip off these drums and use them for a new song. It's more like I've got this cool foundation that I can play along with. So if I'm a bass player, I can mute out the bass, keep everything else, and now instead of hearing Joel's bass part, I'm playing my own bass part over the top. And that is a, I mean, I'm literally playing with these people that's insane. Um, if you're a singer, it's super easy, right? We can just mute the vocal, and now we can sing along. I have this 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 idea of this is really weird and random, but I've been listening to a lot of specifically uh, Luciano Pavarotti singing Nessun Dorma, and a part of me wants to be able to do that. That opera hit that high B, um, and a part of me is like, I'll pull his his version in, mute his voice, and I'll sing along to his exact instrumentation that he had. That's a weird thing. It's a weird example, but you get the idea. I could do that if I wanted to pull in a Foo Fighters record and I want to play guitar on it. I could pull in the Foo Fighters record, keep the drums and bass, keep Dave Grohl's vocal, but then I can play all the guitars. 
and I can either do them a different way or try to see if I can match the way that they did it on the record. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to release this to the public and like steal their work and release it as my own. That's not what we're talking about. But just as a way of even just improving myself, a way of practice that we've never been able to do before, right? You can't get the multi-tracks to your favorite albums, but now you can use stem separation to get rid of those guitar tracks and then do them yourself. Mute the drums so you can play along with the drums. And by the way, you can use the new tempo detection feature in Studio One to detect the tempo of the thing you just brought in. Then you can have that mapped. So the tempo is now mapped. Now you can have a click that follows along. So if you mute the drums and you want to play your own drum parts, you don't even have to hear the existing drums. It's wild. A friend of mine that told me about this said they used a Sting song and they recorded, they muted, they removed Sting's vocal. They muted all the other tracks and played them themselves, and they listened to Sting while they were playing. So it was like they were in the studio playing for Sting. And then eventually they had, I think, a lady come in and re-record the vocal, so they ended up muting the vocal. So the final product was completely new, but they used the existing thing from their favorite artist as like the foundation, the skeleton, and they slowly replaced each element. To me, that's really interesting. So if you are like me and you hadn't thought of all those other different kind of creative ways to use stem separation, uh, my apologies, you and I are just slow and that's fine. There's Thankfully, there's YouTube to help us slow folks out. Uh, But if you haven't used it, this is in version 7. If that seems like something that would give you endless creative enjoyment, if for nothing else than to just play along with your favorite artists, that might be worth upgrading to version 7 if you haven't already. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you.